I will. Apart. I came apart like the avocado pits of my mother's childhood. The avocado pits she would pin in a Tupperware container with toothpicks and fill with water. Because in a month and a half she would have a birth at her kitchen windowsill when the pit would crack in the midwestern sun and bear a tree that was really no more than a twig. Now I think about that tree whenever I look in the mirror and want to cut up my reflection with scissors. I remember that twig for self-motivation. Breaking. I thought I was breaking when I rose from my middle school gym's floor and blood slipped down my leg like a secret. Everyone came to know at once. I was 11 and had never felt so betrayed by my own body. I was 11 with the moon for a womb and murder weapons for legs. In four years, I have seen more blood than any man in a horror movie ever will. And each time I bleed, I have the same feeling at least once, that I am dying. I am shedding away from life in a population of females that feel my pain burn. I wanted to burn the hands of the eighth grade boy who followed me home from school one January day when I was in seventh grade. He tried to pop the buttons off my blouse, wrapped his boiling water hands around my forearms, and called me a stupid bitch. Yes, his hands were boiling water, but I am of the purest fire, and I was in fists and elbows all across him until I was running. My clothes whipping through the winter winds like a superhero's cape. And let me tell you, I was my own superhero that day. Transformation. A transformation occurred when I stopped being afraid of what some people think because they don't understand what it means to be a woman. See, there's a city inside all of us, and in the city inside myself, I have children swimming in the seas between my shoulder blades. And, and graffiti sprayed across my thighs. But how I wanted to be inside the city of someone else, how afraid I was of the commitment that comes with myself. But I have learned now, it is beautiful to be responsible for the little things inside of you. It is beautiful to survive. I am beautiful. Woo!